So you can see here I've started with a plate and what I require is four holes here because we're basically going to mount it. Now your first thought might be I'm going to add a hole and then I'm going to pattern it. But the problem is what happens if this plate gets wider or taller? If I use a pattern I either have to modify it each time I change the size of the plate or I got to go in there and build some relationships to to kind of have it so that as the you know plate width gets bigger you know the the whole pattern updates with it. I'm going to do things a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch on this this face here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a um, two-point rectangle. So I've come in here and I've added my rectangle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to make that into construction because I don't actually want to use the rectangle in this this case per se. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dimension this because I want this to always be you know three quarters of an inch from that edge and I want it to be half an inch from this side. Now what I could do is when I click finish sketch here and I click hole what I can do is actually pick the ends of that rectangle to use as my um, center. So you can see that I'm using those now to place that. Now another suggestion here is let's go back into the sketch before I do that and what I might do is come in here and actually pick these points. So I'm actually going to do a window here and deselect that middle point because what I want to do is I want to convert those points into hole points or hole centers. So I'm going to convert those into center, center points. So what it is, I basically windowed that, held on the control key so I could deselect that middle one and I've converted these into, into center points. So now when I click hole, it's just going to go through and automatically select those. So let's make these half an inch. We'll click OK and we can just update it. Now the advantage is here, I was able to dimension the offset from the, the edges. I can come in here now and go back to this and say, well, this really should have been 10. I'm going to click finish and we can see that that has updated. Now I might be saying, well, I didn't really want it from the edge. I always had a set length on the pattern. Well, that's not a big deal either because, whoops, wrong sketch. What I can do here is instead of dimensioning it to the edge here, so let's just take this one and make it reference. What I could do is come in here and say, you know what? This distance always needs to be five inches, regardless of the width of the plate. So now it's automatically centered on the plate. I don't have to worry about, you know, where's the position of the first hole. So now again, when if I come in here and I make this six, what I can see is that that's going to always be on the center of that plate. Now this also works really well when you got kind of, you know, I'm going to say funky shapes, but not necessarily funky shapes, but I'm going to come in here and what I'm going to do is actually do an offset. So I'm going to do an offset here to offset this distance. Let's offset that a, a, a quarter inch. And I'm going to do kind of the same trick here. I'm going to, I'm going to you know, window select that. Let's just deselect these holes here, convert that into hole centers. So again, I'm going to click finish. I'm going to click the hole command and we can see how quickly it was for me to lay out that. So here again, maybe I got too many here. So let's actually um, deselect that one. I don't know what I just did there. Let's do a hole here. There we go. And I'll click OK to, to create those. So again, now it's tied to, to the original sketch, right? So if I come in here and I, I change this, let's make this 2.75 and I click finish, well then that whole pattern is going to update with it as well. So just a suggestion, you know, keep it simple using points to define your whole patterns as opposed to the actual pattern command.